guys, welcome back. It's Dave. We're in StageCast again, and we are making great progress on our new game, Frame Squared. In our last episode, we had actually created our very first real level. Remember uh, the prior episodes, we had kind of a test level where we just tossed a couple dots out here just so that we could, you know, check to make sure our frame worked, to make sure our new little fly character worked, and so on. Well, today I want to show you a little bit about what I've done off camera. Um, if I open up stages, you're going to see something completely changed. Uh, do you remember we had created template in level one and we got ready for level two? And if I bring level two in, you're going to see that's blank. We haven't made that yet. But off camera, I created an additional bunch of levels. I actually got up to 12 levels. And um, these are all completely created. You see that? And I don't want to go too far because uh, I don't want to give anything away. But I wanted to get started today um, with another level creation. We'll do level two together. Um, but I also want to talk about something I mentioned at the end of our last video. Uh, each level is going to have to have certain values that pertain to only this level. And um, two of them are what the goal and what the time limit is for that particular level. Okay, um, Where this fly is located on the screen and in what direction it's located on the screen is going to have to change. And then in frame squared, we now have the ability of having a start and an end in a different location, kind of like this level, where we're kind of in the middle. You see that? In the original frame, we always started here and ended here. Okay, so that's going to have to change. Well, if I come over to global for a second, uh, two of the variables we created over here in global talked about where will he start horizontally and vertically. That means this guy. Okay, um, I have it open over here, and you're going to see really the only the only extra local variable that we have created was timer. And I originally created these two variables for use in this reset rule so that if we if we goofed and we got framed or whatever, we could press the letter R and it would completely reset the level. Well, it would completely reset this level, not the particular level we happen to be on. And prior to today, we didn't have any other levels, so it really didn't matter. So really, this rule is broken. So just for now, I want to turn him off to tell me that, that I'm going to have to fix him later. Okay. But if we come back here, that's going to mean that these two variables are not going to be uh, able to be used. They're not going to be correct because they're global variables. So we need a way to say whenever we start a new level, these values will change. And if I just close this down again, um, here's what I'm talking about. So this is level one we're on here. If I open up the fly, we did that over here with the fly. It's got a starting horizontal and vertical position. Notice 2013, 2013. And then what direction was he facing at the start of the game, right? These two that we made have to do with when he's actually moving around in the game. Okay, well, this is fly one on level one. If I bring over level three that I finished and we double click it, notice he's fly one again, but he's a second copy of fly one. And look, over here, this fly one's local variables pertain to this instance of fly one on level three. 11, 7, 11, 7. This time he's facing north. Do you see that? Okay. So we can see that using local variables, we're able to tell the stage where he should initially be placed. You see that? Well, we've got a problem though. Do you notice, well, come back to three. Do you notice on level three, the frame doesn't exist? Okay. The frame is back here on 
level one. All right. And uh, I notice he's gone and I don't know why he's gone, but this frame needs to be sitting in the follow me variable. When this frame goes to a new level, all right, it will follow the frame, which means not only will he go to the new level, which basically is a new stage, but we will too, and we'll see it, okay? So what that's going to mean is we can't have these two over here, right? Because there's only going to be one frame in the entire game. It's going to travel from stage to stage to stage, unlike the fly, which has a copy on each level. We need to do a similar trick to this little guy here to help this guy. And here's what we can do. Do you notice at the start of every level, the frame sits atop the start button? So what if we could add in, and I'm going to single click to pop up the menu, and then double click to see the dots, okay? What if we added the variables that we need here to talk about the frame? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add two more variables, and we'll actually call it start h and start v. Okay, start h and start v. And then watch what we can do. Okay, so this dots position is 212. Okay, but if the frame is sitting atop it, it's actually one higher and one to the left, which would mean one higher would be 13, one to the left would be one, just like we had over here. You see that? Okay, so now this guy is done. So watch, uh, I'm going to close him down. All right, we'll get rid of the frame. But now watch what we can do. I'll skip level two since that one doesn't exist yet. Let's go to level three. Actually, let's split it open. We'll go to level three over here. We'll bring the frame over. And Whoops. I think I'll just have to put them here for now. Um, then we'll bring three over here. Okay. All right. So at the start of level three, the frame is right here. So now watch. I can go back in. All right, you notice it's 113 because that's what we set on the other one. All right, but look here, 97. So let's say he's one higher, eight, one to the left, uh, whoops, uh, eight as well, right? Okay, and then if we want to double check, we can just double click here. See that, eight, eight, okay. All right, so now this one, is the s dot but it's on level three eight eight all right let's go back and see if it worked we'll go back to level one we'll put this guy back here put level one over here we'll hop back and let's make sure that this one didn't change see 113 okay all right so after you create your levels you're going to have to make sure that the start h and start v of the s dot all right are programmed for where the frame would be sitting the reason i'm using this dot is because um, we'll make a rule on the frame and the, the rule on the frame will say did i just start a new level and if it says yes i did it can grab the variable values from this because it's within the spotlight you see, if I would have chose one of these dots at random or even the end dot, it would not have been within the spotlight. So when it comes time to do the rule, we wouldn't be able to have that happen. Okay. All right. So if I close this down again and I double click on the frame, I can't delete these guys because this reset rule is making use of it. Okay. So they're going to have to stay for now. All right. Um, 
but from now on we aren't using these and when we fix the reset rule then we can get rid of these two officially all right all right so let's see here we now have a way of programming the frames starting position by pulling the variables out of here right um, we don't have a way of getting these guys on a per level basis at the end of our last episode i showed you how to get these values by playing through the level yourself and then we punched in it takes 51 moves and i think it was 28 ticks on the timer to get from here to here as fast as you can but that's only level one so somehow this information has to get stored somewhere so that it can be pulled in when we start this level okay so i think in addition to the original uh, positioning of the frame, I think we need to do two more variables. So what I'm going to try to do here is let's see if we can't move type up a little bit so that we can maybe move start H and start V out of the way. And then we should open up enough room. I don't like to make it so that you got to make this window bigger than it has to be. And then we can call it goal and moves. And again, goal for level one was 51. Uh, not moves, moves is wrong. Timer, timer, not moves. And then the timer was actually 28, but we upped it to 30 in case that that fly got in our way. And then I will just kind of fix this up a little bit, so clean it up, okay? And again, just as we saw earlier, these two can change for each S that we have, okay? All right, so I'm going to take a second and save that. And then as a review, let's figure out how we get these for the other levels. So uh, again, let's split the screen. We'll pull level three in, bring the frame over. We'll swap it over to here, okay? So at the start of level three, he's right here. Okay, if we want it to be perfect, we'll set this to three. All right, and then to give us some time here, we're gonna say a thousand moves and a thousand on the timer. That way we won't lose until we figure out how many moves it takes. All right, now it's been about a week since I made a video. So this level was actually made almost two weeks ago because um, I did it offline. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to see if I can remember how to solve this level. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to stop. Uh, what's going on here? We did not reset. We want this guy to be going north. That's why he needs to be going north. Okay. And save this, and we'll go again. Good. Okay. Let's see, did I come down? Okay, I didn't come down. See that? That's great because it's going to screw up. See, it's going to screw up the user. And oh yeah, I disabled, I disabled reset. So let's put that back here. Actually, let's reset. Okay. All right, it's not down. Let's try this way. Yes, here we go. Okay, I'll hit stop. Okay, one more to the left would win the level. So this one says 34 moves, 34 moves. So I'm gonna double click this S character and I'm gonna give him the goal of 34, okay? All right, now we'll put him back. We'll set it to 34 to make sure that piece works. We'll set this back to a thousand so that we can do some appropriate timing math. Uh, actually, can we? Oh, shoot. Uh, double click this guy. He's going north from 11.7. Where's that? That's 12. That's 13. Where do I need to go? 11.7, right here. So north from 11.7. Okay. And let's tell this guy he's going to go north. Okay. All right, 
uh, everything else is good, so I should be good. So now, now the objective is to go through as fast as we can to see how much time it'll take us. Let's see if I can remember that. All right, bing, 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 bing. Okay, and I'll hit stop. All right, one more to the left would win the game. All right, looks like 984. If I pop out my calculator. 1,000 minus 984, whoops, 984, 16, okay, again, we'll give the player the advantage, and we could say 20, okay, so now what I'm going to do is actually let's reset it, all right, let's open up here, we'll set timer not to 30 this time, but to 20, and we'll even do it here. 20. Okay, so this is how this level 3 would actually merit out in real time. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Ah, ah, framed, framed, and my reset doesn't work. We're going to have to fix reset soon. Uh, boom, 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 ding, 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 ding. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, we had six ticks left. Ooh, so we did it faster that time. And 34, goal was 34. Okay, we had six ticks left. So what I'm going to do here, that was good. Six ticks was good. Um, I want to go back and I'm going to tweak this. What if we said 15? Okay, and then I'm going to try that again. Let's say the timer was 15. All right, let's try that. Uh, let's see. Look at that, see? Four. Okay, so I'm still able to do that one. Okay, did you notice that on this particular level, um, the path to the finish wasn't that long. You see, this is what's kind of cool about this because they're going to get all the dots. If I go in here again and I show you easy, do you notice I'm only showing two dots this time? Okay, that should tell the player that maybe the route isn't as long as it should be. You see that? Now, this is interesting too because why did I light that dot up? Oh, yeah, because I had to go this way. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's right. So we'll reset it. And um, that, again, is a review of how you would get your goal and your timer. Now, you're going to have to go ahead and do the same thing for all the other levels you've created. Okay, so you're going to have to figure out where will this guy go, what should your goal and your time go, and all of those should be programmed in to the appropriate start, okay? Now, it's funny because you can see them on any dot. You see that? They're exactly the same on any dot. But when it comes to the rule, we're going to make it say, are you the start dot? Do you look like the S? And you notice there's only one of them on the entire screen. That's how it's going to focus in on it, okay? All right, so what do we want to do now? we got about 10 minutes left, so I actually here's what I want to do. Let's take a look at, one, at another type of level creation, okay? Um, again, I, want, I said I wanted the first two levels, and we're going to say level two, we'll give it a thousand, and a thousand, and we'll just set this to zero. Okay, so we're ready to make another level. Another way to make a level. Um, the first time I showed you, it was a matter of just kind of plopping a couple dots and, uh, you know, kind of a, a mishmash way of making it happen, okay? Um, another way to do it, and I'm not going to do it on this level, but uh, I'll, I'll just show it to you real quick, would be to create a bunch of dots and then just randomly place them on the screen. Whoops. Like so. You know, and you'd have a lot more than that. You know, randomly plop them around and then use the setting of those dots 
to see if you could figure out a way that he could move through the dots. All right, getting rid of ones that are in your way, repositioning them, etc. Okay, um, that's another way to do it. But I'm going to show you this third way, which is kind of cool. Uh, in the first level, I said that if you wanted to make it so that the person could only go in one direction from the start, you could place it like here or here or here or here. All right, making it so that if they were to go this way, they'd immediately get framed, which would tell you they must go down. Well, there's another way to do that, and it's to place your opening dot either here or here. So if I place that dot there, that's telling the player I can't go down or I'll get framed. So in this level, I need to go this way. And we're going to play around with that too. So I'm going to grab one more blue dot and place it right here. And here's how this trick works. I'm going to create dots and make a path leading to the exit. So I'm going to hold my mouse down and I'm going to make a path. Now I need to see the grid to show you this trick. When I want to change the direction, I want to make sure that I'm at least three blocks away. So watch what I'm going to do here. One, two, three. All right. Uh, da, 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 right here. Three. And then start coming back this way. Okay. And I'll stop there for a second. Okay. One, two, three. Same thing up here. One, two, three. Why? That's because this guy, as he moves across, he needs this one to be open. Same thing down here. He needs this one to be open. It's this row in here. We can toss the extra dots to kind of keep him on his path. Okay. All right. So now I'll continue it until we finish this level. Um, and again, I'm looking at this line here to determine my three. Okay. So it looks like one, two. So I need to go three before I can start coming up again. Okay. And then same thing here. And I'll actually come all the way over here. So it's four this time, which is perfectly fine. And I want him to come straight down to here. Okay. All right. Now, um, he could be down here. You see this? He could travel down here. So because of that, I don't want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Right? Remember, same thing up here. This means I have to go this way. If I include this dot, that's immediately telling the player to win the game, I must be coming down. I don't want to do that because I can play around with getting them goofed up over here. Okay? All right, so before I do the next piece, in order for him to be able to move all the way around, I need to remove a couple. And it's the ones that surround the place where he's going to turn. So those two, those two, those two, you see that? The ones that touch the turns. So if I get rid of all of those, now I should be able to navigate my way all the way to the end. Do you see that? All the way to the end okay all right but we now want to get rid of some of the other ones but before we do that I'm going to switch over to the pink dot these are the purpose purposeful wrong ones so that I can place some of these and I'll actually start by placing them through here uh oh hold on okay um, to act as a barrier so that when he is traveling this way, he can't come over, he'll get framed, you know, framed, 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 and so on, right? Okay, all right. Um, we'll do a similar thing over here. So I'm just gonna place a couple of them, and I wanna be sort of sporadic, okay? All right, this guy here is gonna make it so that he can't come down, right? So I can come this way. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I don't want this. That's making it rather obvious that you could move straight across. So I'm going to start removing some of these dots. Uh, actually, this one. All right, I don't want to line it up. 
So again, we just want to make sure, so when I'm here, he can't come down. When I'm here, he can't come down. Here, can't come down. Here, can't come down. Here, can't come down. You see that? Only here, okay? So then what I want to do is uh, similar means, and this time uh, I'm going to put, where do I want to go? Right here, okay? So that he can't come straight down, all right? And then I'll continue with a couple more, and I like to put the little doubles sometimes, and I'll put one over here, uh, right here, okay? And this should be good, right? I can't do it here, can't do it here. Good. All right, now. I'm purposely going to let him come up because, look, he'll get caught. You see that? Okay. He, he can get himself back into it again. Okay. But it would take him longer. Now it's down here. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let's get rid of a couple of these. That should be good right there. Let's make sure that it doesn't make it possible. Uh huh. Yeah, we're perfect. Okay. So now we're down here. I'm purposely going to let him come down here. Okay, so I don't want to put a pink one down here. Let's grab a few pink ones and put them here, here. Let's go as close to pos as possible and then screw them up. So if we take some of these out, and let's just make sure we're good here. Uh, let's see. Uh, that one I'm going to let stay. But that one I won't. Okay, so watch. I could come down here, right? I could come down here. That's perfect. Can't hear. Could hear. Can't hear. Can't hear. Okay, but I could go this way, which, again, is going to screw me up. But here's what's neat. If I come down, I can come all the way over. And do you see here? Can't go up. Can't go over. So, again, a great way to screw the person up. All right, so here we are over here. I can't come this way, okay? I have to go up, all right? And again, I'll use the pinks. And again, we've got four to play around with, so that's going to give us some possibilities. I can kind of offset, stagger them, kind of like that, okay? And then let's remove a couple of these. Uh, I'm looking over here because I want to make sure that that works. Uh, these two I think I'll leave alone because... Sometimes they see this and they say, oh, no, I'm not supposed to be there. But I'm going to leave these two there because you are supposed to be there for those. All right. And then I'll try try taking a few more out here. All right. So now let's just see how the end of this runs. Can't do this. Come up. Can't do it. Can't do it. Up. Nope. Nope. Up. Nope. Up. Nope. Nope. Up. Nope. I can come here. Can't go down here, can't go down here, can't go down here, come down, come down, see? Perfect, 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 and I would win, okay? All right, so I'm going to put him back here. And you remember, we hit this neat little rule. If I turn this on for a second, and I hit play, they all turn blue. All right, turn that rule off. So now we've got a neat new level. Um, we're going to have to run through it to find out which ones we would like to make easy. So we'll do that right now. Let's see if we can do this. We come over here, and I want to see if I can do something kind of cool. Yes, we can. You see this? All right. I'm going to hit stop. I want to make this one an easy. Why? because it's right below start. So it tells the person, it's almost like they're gonna see that, oh yeah, I gotta go down and boom, and they're gonna get framed. Okay, so we're gonna set this one to easy. We'll play some more. Uh, oh, let, let's hit stop. Let's make this easy over here. So that that should turn this guy pink. Okay, down, 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 down. Over, 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 and I'm actually going to make this guy pink, um, purposely because he's far enough away so that maybe the person will figure he's got to come over here. See that? 
All right, so I'll say play. I see we're over time, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Up, up, up. Down, 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 down. And I think what I'm going to do is make it obvious. Make this guy pink. So if he's on easy, it'll be obvious that he's got to come down. But perhaps when he's over here, he'll make the wrong decision to immediately come over to cut corners. Okay. All right. So now our easies are all done. Uh, last thing we can do before we can start playing this is the fly. And um, I think I'm going to put the fly down here. We know we have to come up this way. So let's purposely put the fly in a position that could screw you up later on. Okay, so we're going to say set you to north. It says he's at 14, 1, so we have to make these 14 and 1. Okay, and uh, his direction should be north. Okay, all right, so now I think we're good to go. So we'll just finish the last two things that we talked about. Uh, we'll set moves to zero. Timer's still high enough so it won't interfere. I want to hit hard. Okay, uh, let's put him back here. Set him to north in both places. Okay. All right. So now we're going to see how many moves it takes to win this level. Oh, see, I goofed. I goofed right there. Right off the bat, I goofed. All right. Let's try that again. Over, 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 down, down, over, 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 over. Down, 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 down. Over, 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 over. Up, 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 up. Over, 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 over. Down, 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 down. Okay, that should freeze everything. Fifty-nine moves. So goal should be fifty-nine. All right. Save it. We'll refresh it. We'll make the goal. What did I say? 59? Okay. All right. Now we will make this back here. We're going to say playing. Everything else should be fine. All right. So now, uh, where'd this guy go? He was through here, wasn't he? Okay. And we need to hide this guy. Okay. So now we got to see how fast we can do this. So let's set this back to a thousand. And this time again, we're going to play it for time. Ha! Oh, there I go again. There I go again, making the wrong choice. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> Come on. Oh, see? This is where the fly gets in the way. There we go. All right. 864. We'll hit stop. All right, look at this. So this one's going to take some time. 136. We did have the fly messing us up. So let's up it to 140, let's say. 140, just in case fly goofs up the player too. Okay, it's probably less than 136 because the fly did goof us up, um, but that should be good. All right. Okay, I do know we're over time, so I'm going to set this back, set this back, set this back to playing. Uh, let's see, set you down here where you belong. Again, this is... Um, Level three, remember, right? Or I'm sorry, level two. Okay. Um, all right, so there's another level, and we've programmed in all the variables. Okay, so for homework, um, you've seen that I have created some levels already. All right, I've created 12 levels. You can create as many as you want. All right, um, the more levels, the more fun it is for the player because it's added challenges later on. But each of your levels is, is going to have to be programmed. You're going to have to get in here. And program these you're going to have to get in here and program all four of these okay in our next uh, episode or our next 
video, we're going to have to find out how are we going to make it so that the frame can go from one stage to another and update or change all of these different variables. Okay, so that'll be the focus of our next episode. All right, I'm Dave. This is StageCast Frame Squared. We are almost done with this game. All right, all right, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.